Hello and welcome to the Big Bank Theory podcast. My name's John. I'm here with my friend and colleague Dan. Hello. 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 I recognise you from the leasing.com website, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think you were there looking enthusiastic at a leasing.com match just this weekend. Well, I don't reckon I was looking that enthusiastic, was I? <laughs> so City Very are through surprised. to the quarterfinals of the leasing.com, the, the EFL trophy. That's basically what it's called, right? The old auto win sheet thing. Yeah. Yeah. That Whatever thing. it is, we're in the quarterfinals. Good. We don't know who we're playing yet. Only three games away from Wembley. Yee. I mean, interesting. Is, would you go? You would go? I go? Well, I, in a sense, I hate the whole thing. And I hate that the Premier League teams have been brought in. Um, but we've never won a trophy. Well, yet. that's the thing. Like, <laughs> I'm very torn. Thinks, I don't want to go there. I, I never want to go to Wembley again. No. Like, no. for anything. No. Unless City are in the FA Cup final. Oh, yeah. Um, Champions League final, would you go for that? Yeah. All right. But I, I, I can't, I won't be able to not go. But I hope in a way that if we do get there, I hope I've got something else on that I really can't <laughs> do. Because what if they go and win a trophy and like, you know, it's tin pot, isn't it? It's a tin pot trophy. It's like stupid. And, oh, it's literally a uh, and, pot of tin. And I, yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, imagine if we didn't go and we won't actually won a trophy at Wembley. And we weren't there. Couldn't, couldn't Why do, do it. Why is it at Wembley? Why, oh, it's, they're ruining it. They've ruined it. The one time we... I realise we haven't won it yet. The one time we get success. And then there's... I know. Seb Blatter. Well, he won't be there, but... Oh, no, he's disgraced. And nothing to do with the EFL. But there would probably you know, be whatever. a royal, wouldn't it? You a royal? Yeah. Jim. Prince Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's disgraced too. I mean, Andrew's the kind of level this trophy deserves, That's what to be I mean, honest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who's lower? Who's lower than Prince Andrew? Yeah. Well, any of us. Any of us normal proles, I suppose. Anyway. Anyway, I look forward to shaking Prince Andrew's hand when I win Podcast of the Year at the Leasing.com Awards. Yeah, well, at least you'll know it'd be nice and dry. Because <laughs> he's incapable of sweating, isn't he? Remember? Oh, of course. Of course. I, I missed the reference. Um, yeah, you're right. Of course, he's incapable of sweating on account of all his adrenaline he's had. Is it something like that? Yeah, he had too much adrenaline, so now he can't sweat. Oh, it happens to the best of us. <laughs> Right, speak, speaking of adrenaline. Yes, an action-packed game at St. James Park. I think the club got caught by surprise at how many turned out. Well, it was very... It was a bit weird. So you went, I didn't go. Yeah, so I don't know anything, and I didn't know any of this was happening, and I just walked along. As you would. With my cash. Mm. Um, and I got there, and I could see, oh, the big bank's not open. I was like, okay, well, you know, be in the... Uh, What's it called? IP office. Though. IP office. I'll be in there. The cow shed. As opposed to the IP free. Okay, so I went to walk up to the turnstile. Oh, no, you have to go and buy a ticket. Right. Can't pay Were cash. you late? You on time? Yeah. No, I mean, I was I, I was, I was, on time. I wasn't okay. early, but okay. I was in there in time for kickoff. Okay. Anyway, uh, so I've got to go buy a ticket from the ticket booth. Walk over there. Massive queue. Okay. Huge queue for the thing. So I joined that. Anyway, and then someone comes out and says, oh, you can buy some tickets in the club shop if you want to pay on card. And I was like, yeah, whatever whatever's quicker and then i'm told oh you're going in the away end right <laughs> because we've sold out the flyby stand and the guy in the club shop was like yeah well you know in the, the, the last round we had less than 500 here so this is obviously what they planned for a kind of scaled down operation yeah but saturday afternoon saturday afternoon people are sort of still on christmas holidays sort of business yeah so a lot more people turned up. I can't remember the exact figure. Something like 2,200. Yeah. Uh, so, in the away end. And then I, what happened? Uh, well, I went and stood in there, and yeah. it was bizarre. But I, because I was like not late, but I, I was by the time I got the ticket and stuff, I was late. The yeah. match already kicked off. Yeah. I had to just go in the front row. Oh, did you? Well. So, you're right there. And I've been like, I'm just going to get hit in the face with the, <laughs> the ball, aren't I? The, the plight of the old days, I guess. Yeah. So, I did that. And it was, uh, yeah, it was weird. It felt like being at an away game. Yeah. Because I didn't recognise it. It was like, oh, you're looking out and you're like, this is such a weird angle. And the big bank's empty. So you're looking at an empty. Looking at an empty big bank. Yeah, so strange. I've never been in the away end before. You yeah. have, right? Well, I went in the day we got relegated from the league. Yeah. Where, however we, long we, ago that, that was. Because I was in the big bank for that. So that was an overfill, was it? Overspill, yeah, we were in the thing. queue. Much like you, we were in the queue. And then they were like, I mean, I was an enthusiastic 19-year-old or something. And they were like... Um, we're opening the away end. I, I guess they had to move. I can't remember we were playing now. Um, no, me neither. Anyway, we had to we had to go down. So I sprinted down there and 
then they didn't open the away in for ages, so I got squashed against the wall for a while while a copper on a horse told me to man up or something. It was ridiculous. So, yeah, we stood in there then. Um, right, yeah. Watched us sink. So, yeah, that's the one. Maybe, maybe I think maybe I went in when I was a kid as well with my friend who were supporting the other team, you know, and his dad took me as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. It's, I mean, you know. Well, like, you've been under the roof, which I've never had. Yeah, so I've never been in that stand before. And then at half time, I mean, during the first half, um, they'd sort of opened up the closest section of, of the Stansfield, of the Stansfield stand, okay. closest to the away end, that end bit. And people were starting to go up in there because it's too full, you know, like. So at half time, I was like, well, I'm going to go over there because I haven't been in that one either. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I literally got crossing off half the, <laughs> the, the stands in one match. You've given yourself 100%. Yes, yeah, so I went and sat in that. And um, yeah, that was my exp- match to experience. It's very nice. <laughs> Nothing to do with the game. Was the, uh, could you get past it with a, with yeah, yeah, they got like a little. A little open. Got the little shop bit behind there. Okay. Had a cup of tea. Very nice. Yeah. Did it taste bitter? This kid, I was, in, I was right at the front of the queue, oh, big yeah. queue, and this kid comes up to me. He goes like, "Oh, mate, can, if I give you a quick, can you get me a bottle of water?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure." Like, uh, yeah, big queue. So, and then, he, then he's like, hands me this tenner, and he's like, "Oh, can you get a change?" I was like, "Mate, forget it. I'm not doing that. I thought he was going to hand me a quid. I'd get that, you know, like simple." No, he had to. He blew it. He, <laughs> <laughs> he, he later died of. Uh, Thirst deprivation. That's not my problem. No, all right, get change <laughs> or get in the queue. He was trying to get change. Anyway, did he? Did the man behind him do it for him? I don't know. I walked off. All right, there you go. Um, so he he was parched, but uh, you weren't parched of good football. Um, no. Well, interesting line up, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Um, I think I heard people say that was quite a strong Ipswich lineup. Well, I knew quite I a lot of names. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, Freddie Sears was in there, and uh, J- Jackson came on, didn't he? Yeah, and they like they seemed to like that guy who scored. Oh yeah, Will Keane. Oh yeah, well he used to play somewhere I've forgotten. Okay. So yeah, I mean that's a good result, and let, although Ipswich have dropped off the pace a bit, they're um, still doing pretty good yeah, up there, in aren't the playoffs they? Playoffs in League and One. And I tell you what was surprising was that there's loads of them, loads of away support. Yeah. And they were kind of really going for it. Like, fair enough. It was good. It was great support. They were really kind of making a lot of noise and and um, seemed to be taking it seriously and stuff. And they were think they. Were, I think at one point they were doing that chant, you know, the one no up on your big day out chant. Oh yeah. And when we were one no up. Oh yeah. And I was thinking, Lol. no, this is not. This isn't our big day out. And it's. Sh- I don't know why you. Like I don't know. I, I don't think. Why do you care? Um, why are you so? Yeah. Anyway, I was just fair play. It. Like it's good that you know it made it. Came. It made it a better game. I think having... it was like three hundred of them, and obviously Ipswich is a really long way. Yeah. I guess I'd say this. I know we played them last season in the Carabao, didn't we? Yeah. But I suppose realistically, for Saturday fans, I mean, obviously Ipswich on a Tuesday or whatever is impossible. So they probably haven't been to Exeter in a really long time, as as a as a <clears> you know bunch of away fans on a Saturday. So I guess it was that was appealing to them. <laughs> Oh, really? But it's weird, isn't it? I mean, given that if that was the FA Cup, of course, like I mean, what you come in, what just for the football? Oh, I like St James's Park, but I was That's surprised. What do, I'm surprised That's what they people... do. Okay, anyway, so it was two-one. And um, Will Keane, by the way, used to be a Manchester United player, and he was at Hull in the Premier League, so that's where we know him from. Oh right, yeah. okay. Anyway, he scored, but um, first of all, yeah, someone else scored. Nicky and Jose back in the starting lineup. Lovely. Got a nice little goal at the back post. I think it was a Atangana kind of cross, which um, deflected up and just landed at his feet basically. But he was in the right place. I think Matt Taylor said something about this afterwards, and he was like he was just he was just there in the box, and that's exactly what we need from him, and exactly what we kind of been lacking a bit, you know, and, and with yeah. the goal scoring. Uh, I don't really think uh, Bowman can has had his moments of, of you know. He scores a lot of goals in the box, but obviously. He can't, can't be two people, can he? Exactly, yeah. And um and uh, I think that's a really good sign. I was actually really impressed with how he how he played. Okay. Um he moves well, he's not selfish. Um I think he's gonna get criticized for, you know, not running around all the time and stuff. Okay. But I mean, like you said, you can't I mean, no one's ever happy, are they? Because like, you know, think of the stick Jake Taylor used to get and no one stops no one runs around more than him. Yeah, he, he's sort of managed to change people's minds a bit now. I think, hasn't he? But I um, think so. I mean, I guess good results. Will he do was that. also very good. So is 
is a Jose going to be some sort of like Curitan kind of player? Do you think that kind of? I think that's the idea. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you can be half the yeah goal scorer he was, we'll, we'll, well do still very, is. we'll do very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, I was really impressed. And he did like he managed like he played like seventy five minutes, so it's a good sign, you know. Yeah, and like yeah. um, we need him back in there. Yeah, different team to. So there was use. one other comeback from injury, wasn't there? But then it all went wrong for Lewis Ward. Yes. So I saw out on my way there. I'd seen he was playing. And yeah, we, they put we, that up, didn't they? On, and we'd on the internet. text about it. And it was like, oh, that's great to see him back. And then when I got there, I look, sort of looked up the other end, and I realised it was Max dead in goal. Mm. But I couldn't really find out what was going on because like my um, phone had been cut off, and I had paid, because I had paid my bill, oh, so yeah. I paid it, and then I was waiting for it to like get reconnected. You know, like can take up to two hours. Oh. Um. So I was like, oh, I don't know, and I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to be like asking people around me. Oh, what is? <laughs> Well, he's next to in goal. It's a good impression of you talking to people around you. No, it's an impression of the person I'm not. <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, me. Um, um, anyway, I could have asked, but um, so it turns out he landed on his arm and in the warm up. In the warm up, and they think it was like he sort of landed on a screw or something, or something's up with one of the screws in his arm. Oh, so it was to do with. But I think, as far as I, as far as I know, I did check earlier on before before we started recording. There's no update on how how that is. Hopefully it's not too bad because that kind of thing's a nightmare. Screws in you. Well, we're not supposed to have screws in us. No, we're not. And I don't know what do they do before the invention of the screw? You had a broken arm. It grew back wonky. Yeah, goalkeeping days are over, I suppose. Yeah. Anyway, that's anyway, Lewis Ward. So we didn't start. So that's a shame. Yeah. We'll see what happens with that. So he wasn't there. But a lot, of, a lot of the young lads played, didn't they? Yes, they did. Um, so. Gary Warren also started. Oh yeah, of course. Came off at half time. Um but he's on his way back, you know. But then it was then after that it was um oh, who came on for him again? Oh, someone. Anyway, um Alex Hartridge was in there and Jordan Dyer both from the start. Oh yeah. And they were both like really really good. Okay. Um lots of like the thing you can notice especially from being at that end in that first half is like lots of shouting, lots of talking. Like there's a little bit of inexperience there, and I, and but again, you're playing against players who are a division above you, and so a couple of times. Anyway, but on I the mean, whole, I mean, let's not forget Hartridge at the moment is playing at Bath City. So yeah, that's, Ipswich aren't. Just and there a was a moment where them. he got like kind of nutmegged, and or you know, and well, there's a couple of let offs in the second half. But on the whole, I thought he was excellent. He's like, you've got to be happy about the way things are looking for the next couple of seasons, and they don't look too far away. Jordan Dyer as well, and Hartridge. They don't. They look like they're, you know, they're not far off being first team players at league, league two level at least. That's really good, isn't it? I mean, we don't know, do we? Goodness knows what will happen in the transfer window and all that stuff. But and so they may be useful before then. But to have them up coming through the ranks, you know, we've seen what happened with Sparks, with Collins. With all the players before them, exactly. Yeah, you know, you know, know what the pattern been, is. We've got yeah. a system. You know they've been coached the right way. You know where it's leading. Yeah. Um, and look at those two players. You know. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so they were really impressive. Joel Randall as well was excellent. He was sort of playing in the kind of left wing back kind of position. Okay. With Richardson on the, uh, in the on the right, and obviously no Randall Williams and Sparks and everyone else on the left is injured. So Randall played there, and I thought again he's another one who's just like. Just quality player. I actually think, I don't think, obviously a left wing back is not going to be as, well, who knows? I don't think it's a position he's been playing a lot at the moment. Certainly not played there when I've seen him before. But, um, I mean, in, he Randall, looks like he, like, yeah. I mean, I, obviously we're looking to get promoted. So if we're in League One next season, then that does change things a little bit, doesn't it? As to where or not, whether or not they're going to be good enough to be in the first team for that. Yeah. But Perhaps. at the moment, I wouldn't be like, you know, I wouldn't be against them getting some more first team games this season. I wonder if Randall's the closest to it. So you might recall he was at Western Supermare. Yeah, from I'd August. suggest I think probably Joe Randall was. And so, sometimes I've seen him, I think I've kind of thought he looks a bit further along than Ben Seymour to me. Right. I know they're slightly different positions, but you know, Randall, of course, was recalled to sit on the bench. Now I know that bench isn't the same as uh, starting. So so there was a gap in between his loan periods, and now he's gone off to Weymouth again. But maybe he's. Highest on the list. And left wing back, left back, maybe is the place where we're looking, isn't it? So it could be interesting to see what happens. Yeah. Although Matt Taylor's basically said that isn't what's happening this January. Yes. So he put out, um, there was a thing in the Echo, Devon Live, whatever you want to call it, 
about saying basically just say yeah we want to get a left sided wing back mm. and he's and Hartridge he says isn't the answer and in both the game on Saturday and when I saw him in the under 23s a month or two ago he played on that left side of the back three and like okay. very much looked like a kind of centre centre back to me so like he's not not going to be the answer so we'll see if we get somebody in but. so Josie scored 1-0 Josie scored 1-0 Norwich equalised half time I didn't see the goal I was like getting a cover <laughs> what you didn't see the equaliser no I didn't see a Josie's goal <laughs> oh, no. Your timing's imp- uh, uh, yeah, I've ne- I've, that's twice this season. Yeah, I know. I've never done it before. I don't think. I probably, I, mean, I almost certainly have, goals. but I can't remember. Anymore. And then, so then you sat down again, half time. Yeah. In fact, you moved. You got to sit down. Yeah. Then second half, Ipswich equalised. Yeah, they were kind of all over us for a, for a spell. Yeah. Um. And, yeah, they scored this. You know, it's a nice finish by this guy, Will Keane. But then we picked up. We picked up, yeah. Well, it very much looked like it was going to penalties. Mm-hmm. We were, we definitely picked up a bit from that. And we and were they kind brought of... on old matey, whose name I've completely forgotten. Our old player went to Forest Green, Norwood. Um, yeah. Presumably to do penalties. So he came on with that a minute to go, didn't he? Yeah. But Lol. we get a corner. Yeah. Oh, that's not point. I forget the fact that Matt Jay played. He's oh, someone yeah. who's like look like he's drifting further and further away from the first team uh, in recent weeks. But um, a lovely free kick off the bar. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw that on the highlights. It's like such nice shape on it and like power and like he's really unlucky. You know, like a couple of inches low and it Set was in. pieces are one of his absolute strengths, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And I think and they're you know it's not one of our strengths as a team. I don't think set no. pieces at the minute, but maybe that's not enough. We'll see with Jay, won't we? I, I, yeah, he I looked a want... little bit outmuscled quite a few times, but again, he got up against a strong Ipswich side. You know, so anyway. Okay. But but yeah, so then dying minutes, we have this corner, um, and it kind of rattles about and ends up at the feet of Lee Martin, who's only come on. He came on for a Jose, mm-hmm. so been on a bit, and he puts it away, and he absolutely loved it. And he had a long way to run. I because feel he, bad for him. Scored yeah. at the big bank. But he used to play for Ipswich, of course, as well. Uh, so I think he? he really liked that one. Okay. Um, yeah, long way to run. Well, he could have just run over to the other side, whether everyone's in the IP. That's true. But he just, yeah, yeah. Great. So we win. Yeah. So that's 40,000 in the bank, which yeah. I think's probably the most significant thing about it. Obviously, yeah. it also gives us a chance at the quarterfinals. Well, Matt Taylor also said in the same interview that essentially that's money he's hoping that money's going to pay for this new player. Yeah. So, yeah, worth having, I suppose. Well worth, worth doing. Uh, worth absolutely. bothering with. Yeah. Um, we'll see who we get in the um, next round. You might recall that... Yeah, I've um, seen the options. It's nothing like to get too excited about. No, I mean, I was even trying to get my head around what this thing even was. Of course, it's, you know... Well, they keep changing it all the time as well. They do. So the historic actual piece of metal, the trophy, the pot of tin... Um, has been won by some, you know, significant teams over the over the years, but it's, you know, I, I I the thing I'm worried about most, if I'm honest, is if we go to Wembley and we take three thousand, yeah, it's gonna be really embarrassing. Like, I'll be surprised we get that many. I don't know why I care. We're almost certainly not gonna get to Wembley. No. But then also, but, well, I don't know why I say that actually. I think well, we, let's, let's say there's a 50 left, 50 chance, you know, like. Well, the semi final is probably not Wembley, is it? That's. I mean, surely not. Otherwise, just knock it down now, you know? <laughs> knock Wembley down. Yeah. If um, it's now going to be used, if it's being cheapened so much that it's being used for the leasing.com semi final, I mean, then knock it down. I, I mean, I firmly agree with you. It's absolutely awful. I mean, throughout the centuries, it's been, you know, Sunderland and Portsmouth had that massive game there. Was that last year or two years ago? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was last year, wasn't it? Portsmouth won it. So Portsmouth have got it. Um, but we've ruined it by adding all these other teams in. Yes. Like, if it was just League One and League Two teams, you'd think, like, oh, great, you know. Oh, yeah, I know, and it's all regional as well, isn't it? And so I think it, now it, I think now it isn't regional. Is that right? But it used I to think, be. I, no, the I quarterfinals think we... used to still be regional, and now they aren't. Okay. I think is what has now happened. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's whatever. It's watered down. I mean, it wasn't that good to begin with, and it's a just a. But 
you know, we've got some money from it. If we go out in the next round, we got that 40 grand and we got to see, we got to use it as a platform for some of our youngsters to play a meaningful-ish game and for to bring back a couple of players who are struggling with injuries. So it's, I mean, it's not like it's no. without its uses. Um, no, I'm afraid to tell you the quarterfinals are regional. Are you sure? Yeah, quarterfinals, you have a northern section semi-final and a southern section semi-final. Is that still the case now? Is this that is, this, this season? Is, this is this year, as I'm reading. Okay, So I, right. could, I could tell you who we might get, but of oh, course... Please do. Of course, um, doesn't count for nothing yet. So, um, in the southern, still left, Newport are going to play MK Dons, Warsaw are going to play Portsmouth, and Bristol Rovers are going to play Stevenage. I mean, really, you'd hope for Bristol Rovers at home, wouldn't you? <laughs> To avoid, to get some away fans and to avoid having to travel. Yeah, that'd be nice. And then in the northern section, still going, Salford are going to play Port Vale. Tranmere got to play Leicester under 21s. Fleetwood play Accrington. Scunthorpe play Manchester City under 21s. Okay. So I think we'll get drawn against, I think this is right from what I'm reading, we'll get drawn against one of those other six teams still in it. Bristol Rovers, Portsmouth being the big ones. And then we play one of them. And then the... And then the, um, yeah, there's no, all sorts yeah. of... And then that's going on too. That's going on too. Okay. What about, what would you feel about having um, MK Dons at home? Well... Or MK Dons away? They're kind of nothing to me anymore. Yeah, I know. But here's something. Yeah. Because they're going to be playing presumably not a full strength side yeah. like we are. Yeah. It might be the last chance you ever get to see... Mr. Ryan Harley I would like play to see a that. game of football. I would like to see that. Me too. He might not even play, even uh, if we get him. I don't know what's up with him. I haven't been keeping track. No, not much. I don't I think, think he's playing, though. No. Same with Boateng, isn't it? Boateng's been a nightmare. We still owe money from him, by the way. Listeners, yeah. if you didn't know. so I mean, We'll have that, please, MK. It's yeah. not our fault. It's not our fault. It's not you our fault. Him. He's rubbish. He perfectly. We good. did scored tell a, you. He scored an excellent goal yeah, for us. He wasn't that good though, was he? <laughs> we did tell you. So that's that. Anyway, that's we're the... doing better this season without him. Well, we've been. So yes. we'll come on to this later in the season, I think. But so far, this has been a very, very good season. Like, if if the season ended now, or if we compare, you know, eighteen nineteen to nineteen twenty up to January, this yeah, has been a better season. It's definite. It's definite. Um, like clear yeah progress yes and very measurable progress and like you know not in um, is there examples of where we've not p- progressed i kind of think in all areas really yeah i can't think of anything not we're we're playing better against teams that are of the same standard forest green for example we're better off in the promotion race points tallies better i think that um recruitment's been better i think that attendance has been better yeah, I think they now sell delicious vegetable pasties. D- delicious vegetable pasties. Um, I think there's like some ricotta in there or something going on. No. They're not just your run of the mill no. chopped it's remarkable. cabbage and carrots and stuff. They're, no, it's not. Whoever's responsible for them, I'm going to take a guess. Uh, taggy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Taggy. Or, or, you know, that's what Matt Jay's been doing with his time. Maybe. Anyway, I think that the season's been markedly better. And progress in this trophy just kind of shows that actually our second string are also improving. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh, without a doubt. And um, it's great to see that. It's just good to see that the, uh, that the machine still works. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. I know there's been talk of the, in the past recently about, you know, well, if this, if the youngsters dry up, then, yeah. then you know, we're, we're screwed. And we need to move out to the uh, Ivor Judney Stadium Bowl yeah. out in um, uh, <laughs> yeah, near, the, near the Science Park or yeah. in Cranbrook. But it's not showing any signs of of, of um, drying up, is it? No, no, excellent. Add into that the fact that you've got like people like Noah Smurden as well, and like others who weren't there on Saturday who who yeah. looked decent. This yeah. is the lad who plays up front, big big guy. Can't remember his name. Um, I don't know. Okay. But yeah, there's loads. Yeah, and there's lots. Yeah. It's, it's been great. And also the extra revenue from those pasties are going to be uh, through the roof. Yeah. Bit of free advertising for them here. I didn't see them advertising. Anymore. I was just told about them. Word of mouth. So. <laughs> Would it be that told you? No, it was Jack. All right. 
Thanks, Jack. Thanks to me, too, because I definitely did tell you first. Uh, more of that in no, a minute. you didn't. You haven't even had one. I have had one. You I haven't. Have, I've had one on the podcast. We've talked about it. We talked about it months ago. I don't know. This is a brand new thing. No, it's not. I had one months ago. Nah. Listeners, get in touch. <laughs> Who do you trust better on your veggie pasty info? Me, Reliable, or Dan? Flaky. Forgetful. <laughs> Flaky, like a vegetable pasty. <laughs> Or me, solid, like a cheese and onion pasty. More of that shortly. So, upcoming, uh, a place where you don't get pasties, Cambridge. Cambridge United coming to St James Park this Saturday. Now, yes, you'll be thinking to yourself, listeners, oh, Cambridge, 4-0 away, and then we beat them 1-0 in the cup. Uh, actually, they've four 0 was their was their kind of thing of the season. Uh, that was their kind of best moment so far. Okay. Um, obviously, it was our worst moment so far by some. So they've dropped off then since then. Okay, well, that's similar. The same thing happened to Grimsby, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's just it's been uh... beat us at your peril. <laughs> well, I don't think anyone can anyway. So they haven't won away in the league in eight games. Okay. Um, mm. Although they've. Um, their form in the last five, they're only 1-1, one, one, lost the other four. So, you know, it's a bit shonky by them. Um, we did beat them 1-0 in the cup. They currently sit 13th in the league. They're, I said, I know I said this last time, exactly the same about them. It wasn't that they were in form when we played them. It was just, that was their good result. They're currently sitting absolute mid-table. Their goals scored a mid-table. Their goals against a mid-table. 13th in the league. Um, Colin Calderwood's still their manager, you might recall. Okay, yeah. Big call. Um, but I guess their person of note is Sam Smith up front, who's on loan from Reading. He scored seven in the league. Yeah. Um, Sam Smith, the singer. Yeah, the same joke we did last time. Um, th- this is the problem when you play a team three times in a season. We've got nothing. Oh, we can't keep coming up with new stuff. I mean, who are, you? who are we here? We're not comedians. We're really right. pundits. Okay, before we go really? on. Yes. I just want to say something about Cambridge United. They've got the worst club badge I've ever seen. Well, Have they? Not worse than Salford, but you know they came up with it like two days ago. Yeah, what's wrong uh, with it? It's just a, a sort of old-fashioned footy, like you know, yeah. with the black and white panels, with just C U on it oh, on yeah. top of it in in orange oh, or yeah. gold. Or They've whatever. had that forever, haven't they? It's that's terrible. The, now you say it, it is terrible. It's also got a poorly drawn set of three chimneys above it. Yeah, weird little thing. Is of that like some... the spires of Cambridge? Is that what that's trying to be? I don't know what. They I mean, look like spires. Do you know what I'd have? If you're going to go for a, a um, if you're going to incorporate a football into your uh, club badge, which I don't suggest you do. Okay. Then, and you're Cambridge United, United you know, I'd do. Stick a little mortarboard on it. <laughs> I like it. Your mascot's ready made then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Good it's idea. just so unimaginative. I think it's pretty old, but you're right, that is unimaginative. Yeah, but I mean, ours is old. Yeah. Ours is like, literally like, looks like it's from like... I think it is. The Dark Ages. Like, yeah, like it, the I... players we wear in chainmail or something. <laughs> On the subject of That's ours, I actually one. preferred it before they put that black and red shield behind it. But, you know, whatever. I think um, chainmail is going to be the third kit next year. Cool. I'd like to see that, like... Um, actual chain mail not real chain mail but like just like so it looks like it's made of chain mail nice that'd be cool wouldn't it in a way teams have done weirder stuff they have you know that Coventry City third kit that everyone's going on about at the minute you seen that no in like the style of the specials album sleeve oh yeah I have seen that so black and white yeah yeah people love it right yeah it's cool I mean isn't that cool it's kind of cool is it and the specials are from around there aren't they yeah they're from Coventry but you know we're not putting like a Coldplay album on. Them, no, because we? Coldplay's lame. <laughs> specials are great. Yeah, all right, that's fair enough. I, just I think, think if we had the specials around here, we'd be thinking like, let's, let's milk a bit of that. I just think it's a bit too much. Yeah, it is, but it's only a third kit, isn't it? All right, it's uh, only a third kit. It's no I mean, lamer ours, than when we had that. Style we had that plane. stupid Brazilian one, which I love. It's a great kit, the yeah. Fluminese one. Yeah, but it's a bit like. Come on. I mean, the purple one that I've got that I really like, of course, is just that's just, literally just coloured in our uh, like. <laughs> After an aeroplane. Yeah, all right. Maybe I'm being too critical. Maybe people in glass houses and all that. Yeah. Um. Anyway, third kit next year, chainmail. <clears throat> yeah. I think you could also get like a crown. The keeper could wear a crown cap. Well, we don't want to be, you know. Don't we? Let's go for it. 
what's what we got going for us? Medieval town. Yeah. Roman though, isn't Roman. it? Roman. Roman. You can all wear like laurel reefs as your hat. Yeah, well I they're... don't know why I'm going with hats. Footballers don't wear hats. No, no hats, please. Okay, forget it. Anyway, that's just my bit on Coventry City's badge. Which no, is, Cambridge United's is, badge. Sorry, yeah, Cambridge United's badge, which is rubbish. Okay. And if you want me to design you a new one, I'd be more than happy to do it. Just get in touch. Um, if you were, you know, from Cambridge, would you call yourself Don Heron? No. Oh, right. Um, that's a good one. <laughs> so Cambridge, anyway, that's them. So they're not really... I mean, I, I would write them off at our peril because that's exactly Well, what... of course, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm only wary about it because of the reverse result but that is a team that we absolutely should expect to be able to beat you, yeah you'd hope so mid table out of form and at st james's park you might recall the cup game that we beat them in they defended pretty solidly yes um, i do remember so it'd be interesting to see if a jose appears or if martin's newfound exuberance helps us out yeah i uh, mean that's an interesting one i mean i've been like a bit critical of lee martin recently and um but he started scoring but he started scoring, so you can't argue with it, can you? you no, know? you can't. Um, I, mean, that's I still we... think he seems a little bit aimless, but I think it I think it unnerves teams. But the thing is, I did suggest I, I preferred him coming off the bench, which is exactly what happened on Saturday. Yeah. And, you know, he popped up with the goal. So that's <clears throat> literally my idea. Well done. <laughs> Kudos to you. <laughs> Although that's how we were playing at the beginning of the season as well. Um, but, yeah, you can't argue with the, you can't argue with the uh, end result, can you? So... But I would like. To, I, I hope a Jose features on Saturday. Yeah. Like I really do. Yeah, I wonder. I mean, I, knowing Taylor, I don't imagine he'd start. But you never know, do you? You never know. We're of course missing Atten Garner, suspended for three. Uh, yeah. So that wasn't. <clears throat> we didn't appeal it. We didn't bother. Uh, violent no. conduct. He actually had his one of his um, a less impressive game on Saturday Did than he? I'd seen Did in he? the past. Yeah. yeah. Um, but. So Jake Taylor comes back in, I guess, does he? Yeah, that's the obvious I would think thing. So. Yeah, yeah. And he played very, really well on. So we've had no further news on Sparks. No, but he's definitely. Well, well Taylor said we're definitely looking to sign someone. Yeah. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to be a bit, isn't it? Yeah, we wouldn't bother gonna sending bit. the money, spending no. the money. So whether or not we get anyone time for Saturday, I, I doubt. So we can expect um, Jaden Richardson to be back there, can we? Yeah, I would think so. I would think so. And like I, like I said. In the last game, I thought he did well defensively. You know, down to ten men, and they were definitely targeting him, knowing that that we were that was a weak spot, and maybe that will happen again. Cambridge might go for the same thing, but but it didn't prove to be weak, did it? Like knowing it's weak is one thing. Like that's Ipswich's look on it, but then actually it wasn't not Ipswich. Forest Green, sorry. Yeah. Um, no, but... he did well, but it, he is a, he is going to be out of position, and yeah. he's young, yeah. hasn't played very much, so it'd still be like if I was a Cambridge manager. I, it'd still be what you're thinking. Let's go for that. That'd be your best, yeah, best option. But um, hopefully, we can, uh, you know, just blow him away. I'd love to see that. Of course, the games come Saturday, 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 uh, with a Tuesday at the end of January. We're just kind of plodding on, collecting those wins, keeping the good vibes. Uh, yeah, keeping the momentum up, which is yeah. The league's important. turned in our favour slightly. Um, of course. Uh, Swindon, top of the league, were playing Bradford City, who were fourth, and beat them, uh, which means that actually... No, it was a draw. Was it? It's one all. Oh, OK. Well, anyway, it means now there's a clear three points between them in fourth and us in second. Uh, crew, obviously, three points behind us, but with a game in hand. Yeah, and now we have a game in hand on Swindon, Swindon. Yeah. which would take us level if we, yeah, if we, if we play it tonight and... That would take us level on points, wouldn't yeah, it? it would. But obviously, we'd need to win about thirty nil to be top. Indeed, we would. Um, but I really like seeing us pulling away from fourth place. I just oh yeah, I know. know yeah, we've just, we just got to keep that up, you know. I don't want it. I would just love there to be it to be kind of if we just carried on like this, like no drama, no drama. We don't expect to win everything, but not lose much. Yeah, then yeah. It, it'd be amazing. No, you know, like win all your. Win your home games or don't lose at home. Yeah, it'd be, you know, it'd be amazing. We're looking at picking it, up two points. Two points. I'm sure all. Per game. I'm sure all teams feel the same way, but I always think, oh, it's never easy. We never do it the easy way, and I reckon every team says that. Yeah. But it does feel like it, doesn't it? You know, like so. I, d- I do. Um, yeah, I do so agree. to do it, to, to be able to get promoted, absolute drama free would be just so nice. Taylor's Taylor's really got us into the category of one nil wins, right? Brilliant, outstanding. Yep. 
I'd love to be in the category of 2 0 wins because that's really when it pays off, isn't it? Yeah, because it buys you a bit more, kind of. Buys you a bit more. You start picking up, like, uh, the goal average, which obviously isn't. It's not that it's bad for City, but it's that Crew and Swindon are so far ahead. Um, what, in terms of goals? In terms of goals. Yeah. Just to not let them get any further away, maybe pull yeah, back yeah, a bit yeah. of that ground, you know. I mean, you know, the, the thing that matters really is the points. Of course. So. Um, as much as, yeah, it'd be great to start scoring more goals, and I hope we do. And I think we will as well. I think we're kind of getting there with yep. with that. Um, and it's great to have like someone like a Jose back in, like, in contention because that's why he was bought, you know? Yeah. He's a guy who can score some goals. Yeah, yeah. And like, I'm not, I'm not necessarily expecting him to be, you know, the new Jamie Curiton, but... If he could get his eight before the end of the season... That'd be brilliant. On top of Bowman and Martin and Taylor and... Williams and you know yeah some others from the back and all that I think we'd be I think we'd be <coughs> well Nicky Law of course Nicky Law yeah he could do with a little goal couldn't he he could really he was on a good run for a while there at the beginning of the season scoring and um, he hasn't got one for a while now so I think he's due one interesting times ahead positive times ahead I feel um, yeah. hopefully we'll know a bit more about this left back position by next week um, everything else we'll know about who we're going to play in the leasing trophy as well won't we yeah and um another week under the belt yeah don't forget you can always get in touch with us in all the normal places on twitter at big bank pod on facebook we're the big bank theory podcast and on email we are big bank pod at gmail.com we love to hear from you and hear yeah. the things you've got to say we're still not on any lot of new podcast platforms are we I don't think anyone seems that fast no nope. so. so that's fine we'll stay where we are i think unless something becomes obvious we'll get involved um, and we're going to keep to explore, keep exploring new stuff that we might try and do before the end of the season. Keep saying this, don't we? Keep saying it, but you know, we're busy. Busy people. Busy trying out those pasties. Yeah, so, yeah, back next week, same time next week, I guess. Absolutely. Back in sort of normal life now, aren't we? Sort of yeah, Christmas, Christmas is over. Sort of... We're firmly in 2020. Yeah. I don't care for it, but we're there. Nothing I can do about it. Just don't I have those like kind of it. powers. You're liking it? Yeah. All right. Fair enough. All right, cool. Uh, Thanks for listening. My name's John. I've been here with my friend and colleague, Dan. Cheers. See you soon.